Hey guys, welcome back. It's going to be coming at you for another video for Shadows. Hopefully you guys are doing well and hopefully you're getting on with your week. And um, a couple of things from me before we get into today's video. Um, first of all, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the new fusion? Um, are you going to go for the new fusion? What is your personal intake about the fusion? What's your personal intake on the five new legendaries? added to the game to do this new duo to do with Rachel legend so i kind of want to hear that and i also want to hear your personal thoughts on the daily login as well um a quick one over my my personal thoughts the fusion a bit underwhelming um great kit overall but i'm really disappointed that there is no freeze in her kit just because this would make her s tier for finite in my opinion um and i think that she will need like Quite a good team built around her, which is not really my cup of tea. Um, going on the login one, I don't really want to say much on the login. I like the look of his kit. I think his kit looks awesome as a great boss killer, potentially. I haven't seen any uh, evidence or any clips or anything really to do with the login champion on his multipliers. And that is what I'm waiting to see is his multipliers. So that is going to be my quick intake for that. So let's get into today's video. Uh, today's video, I've been working a lot on Sun Devil lately, especially Sun Devil 20 to 5 teams. And I've released a couple of videos on um, Sun Devil 25 teams and what I feel all recommended. Now, I've done a lot of testing, I've done a lot of tries with Sun Devil teams, especially for 25. And I haven't posted every single team that posts uh, a tried because I'm just not happy with the results, I'm not happy with the consistency. And stuff like that so i don't want to bring you teams that are only 60 percent 70 percent or 80 percent consistent i'm looking for 99 percent consistent uh, i will add chapters below for today in case i'm chatting too much as normal um but i'll add chapters down below uh anyway let's get into today's team so yeah as i said i've been doing a lot of teams in sand devil today is not sand devil this time is shogun grove turn and i've been looking at a new team and we've built a team that is kind of free to play. And the reason why I say it's free to play because it does have a void legendary that was recently was a fusion. So we were working on this team this morning in stream. So if a few of you would have seen this already, we do have one level 50, which is great. Uh, I spoke about this already. I'm going to do a couple of runs. We're going to see what we can kind of show you right now. But this is a really nice team. This is a little bit team that I invest in as well on my account because at the moment it is 100%, which is what I like. Uh, and there's a couple of key things that I want to go over to make it 100% because it's not easy to make 100%. So, so what we're seeing is it's quite good so far. And I've also pulled up some extra analytics from the How Hades optimizer to kind of see the team in action. This is where I found the team, um, and to, to see the consistency and stuff like that. This team did like 600 and something runs in um in this and it was 100 percent. so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you that and we've literally just copied the builds and the masteries etc so um let's go ahead see the one uh as this is doing yeah okay so so this is mining needles conversation uh as you can see uh it's, i've got like this sorry as you can see, it's done 607 runs and 100% win rate and an average time of 38 seconds. We have been managed to get it a little bit faster from the personal best. So a couple of things that I've noticed then for this is to get this 100%, you need to kill this boss as fast as possible because the longer that this run goes on, the less consistent it gets. That's one thing that we have uh, kind of noticed me and Needle. Uh, we did change a few bits and bobs to do with stats. And stuff like that obviously you want uh the rare champion to be able to take a hit on the first turn because if he doesn't then um you're just generally just gonna get killed and stuff like that so as you can see we also get strips so the taunt really helps you really do need like a lot of stats on emric to be honest emric is really stat hungry and i'm gonna go show you his build in a second and an order preset so ninja is like the mpv and the another thing that we've done as well to uh to make this better is adding the um 
of refresh on Ninja. We found that was really, really key. And it did help speed up the, the team a little bit to do with RNG uh, and then made it more consistent as well. That was one thing that I kind of noticed with this. And the speeds are very, very tight. So that's something to also kind of recommend. We also had the wrong masteries on. Uh, so I have reworked the masteries on Emmerich. So as you can see, 53 seconds. His personal best is 33 seconds. To be honest, because I'm streaming and recording all the time, I have lower settings on my RAID to make sure that the video is of better quality and are not uh, glitching or anything like that. And mainly it's because of stream. And sometimes I do record my stream for YouTube videos. So I just generally don't mess around with it because I forget to always change it. And then I waste time when I'm recording videos. So it's kind of key to kind of wait for this. I really like this team. Now, can you replace Ninja? I'm not too sure if you can replace Ninja. Um, to be honest, I don't think there's many people you could. I think you possibly could, but it'd be much slower. Uh, I might test this in the next couple of days on my account if Ninja can be replaced. I have no idea, but I might try it. I might try another Cold Heart just to make it more friendly, or maybe we even try the new the new champion when we get in, right? Because the new champion's Force Affinity. And his kit is looking quite insane as well uh, for, for a boss. So maybe we try the new champion. Or maybe that's something that we'll try, depending on how much war damage we've got. So again, one minute. And now bear in mind, we're not using any crazy teams. And no deals can build a team that can probably do this boss in at least 16 seconds. But it means he has to start swapping gear around uh, all his champions, especially for his other dungeons, so like Sand Devil and stuff like that. And it's probably not worth it, to be honest. Like, really, you want to keep your three gears down as much as possible. I only really tend to move gear around on my account or Hydra sake. Or, and even then, it's only, like, nightmare, really, that I'm swapping gear around or, like, a hex set or, like, a provoke set, really, because, like, I don't have much decent of it and it's hard to get decent stuff of that, especially with Shogun and Sandel going on now. Um... So it's kind of something to kind of really point out. You could probably say it's a little bit lazy for me as well not to rework everything. Um, as you can see here, we've done three runs. It's pretty consistent. I think that um, a Toxic set could be quite cool in here as well, just maybe to get a bit faster. Um, Brimstone level 5, if you could get it on Ninja. GG. Maybe you can get the Brimstone on Emric, maybe. Uh, but trying to get the accuracy on him would be a bit hard. I have a four star uh, blessing, obviously, from the champion training event when it was going live. All right, let me go ahead and show you the gear and the presets and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just go in and, it's, and show you the presets. I think we're going to have to activate some energy here to see the presets, uh, which is a bit of annoying. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you the presets. So you want to open up with uh, Narhorn's A3. This will get stripped, but this comes into sync later on. I think it's also worth pointing out you need quite a few blessings. Off the top of my head, I'm not too sure, but if you could like least get, as you can see, we've got like what, 8, 11, 12 blessings. I think you could probably get another one in Emmerich. You do want to get that cooldown much as possible. Um, so yeah, we're opening with the A1 here, and then we're going to open with Godseekers, um, with a 3 there, and most likely, if you were struggling, maybe you change this a little bit, and you turn this off, and then you go with the 4 hitter, especially if you have a good blessing. Now, it is worth noting as well, Phantom Touch does count as a hit for the counter, I believe. Uh, we do have a 3 here. And then Emmerich Trunkart, which is the most important one. So Emmerich and Painkeeper's Masteries need to be good. Uh, if you take anything like Cycle of Magic, which is what we did, the inconsistency will show because he will get his Taunt ability back too early and then he'll pull it up and then you will fail the run. So that's something to kind of bear in and note there. Uh, and then you want the A2 to be on the turn there. And then the same with the Ninja, you want his Hell Burn to be first. And then slash to be second. So there you are. You can kind of see the speeds already. So you can pause this down below if you want to see the speeds. I'm going to go ahead and pull up these champions' gears right now. And so I can show you the gear 
on these people so i'm just going to sit here and type in or i'm going to be sitting here for 10 minutes uh looking for these uh, characters so as you can see we do have a lethal set uh i don't think lethal is really required but i do want extra damage and i think that lethal is key we do have a one piece refresh if you get two or three that would be better uh so that is generally good um we did actually put 100 percent on a critical rate on a cold heart mainly just for the a1 and a giant slayer so that's something to kind of just take into note we got speed of 246 speed there is quite a few speed tunes on how he's optimizer for uh for um for the ninja bit and for the uh cold heart so maybe go check that out if you're struggling to get these speeds but uh again this was what we was able to do uh at a 50,000 hp i don't think hp is so important because emmerich and god noghorn are meant to take up damage you do want the masteries here so the masteries actually i would probably recommend coming in with giant slayer here i didn't really look at his masteries but i think giant slayer would be the better option to take for this boss let me know down in the comments what you are running on your cold heart for uh the phantom shogun so for me i would probably take that and then bless indefinitely phantom touch and then we're going to pull up um Narcorn because he should be a bit more simple so you do want Narcorn to be with the highest um with the highest critical damage so you want everyone to have lower critical damage than him so just bear that in mind uh the speed is 173 the speeds are a bit tight i've seen 174 and i think 172 as well but other than that it's a bit more difficult uh, and a hp i believe you need a minimum of 70,000 hp so there is a bit of room there for that and then you know take a blessing that gives you more hp just it's common sense and defense is really important as well if you don't have enough defense the boss is still going to go through you even if you have 70,000 hp i have tested this on stream so we are quite on top of that we did notice that the defense was very important here so that is one thing we're going to do all right let's pull up uh, ninja now and see what we can do there i think we will try and rebuild this team again on my account but we'll replace ninja most likely i have a few champions in mind so i'm going to work off that on camera i'm not going to promise you guys anything just yet uh so we have the hp at 45 48,000 which is not really important again you just mainly want the speed and accuracy on him so 251 i don't think there's much wiggle on his speed in this speed tune and then 600 accuracy make sure you got that accuracy we have a two-piece refresh and this was what helped to get a bit faster 33 seconds when his proccins rng for his a2 so that's worth one note to to take a note of there um so as you can tell knockhorn had no masteries let's go into the masteries here real quickly before i go ahead eagle eye tier 6 pretty simple uh normal masteries that you will take for sand double 24 or 25 um then we're gonna go ahead and look at his pain keeper who is only impressive level 50 we have thought about upgrading her maybe to get the war master uh, but right now, I don't think it's really needed. Reaction's not needed on this, by the way. I just took it because it had the stats I was looking for. So the speed is 218 to 220, 220. So that's something to really, really pay on. I think you could go to 221, but that's about it. Just pay, be careful and bear in mind, if you're taking Law of Steel as well, uh, do not take Cycle of Magic. Do not take any turn. Need to masteries. You don't want any problems in your runs. Uh, defense wasn't really needed, but we do have the HP thousand fifty seven thousand seven hundred. I think you can get a minimum of fifty five thousand. You do want the heals to come through on her. We did find that quite consistent. Uh, again, no masteries, which is a bonus. It's less resources for you guys and less work for you guys as well. And then we're gonna go and take a look at the star of the show and the champion that really is needed for his comp. Um, this is gonna be a interesting one so we have 126,000 hp we have got 2600 defense and 271 speed now i think the speed can go down to 270 or 272 uh, again the speeds are very tight on him the defense needs to be a minimum of 2600 really uh when we just have a low it was being inconsistent uh, and stuff like that 
and the minimum HP requirement as I've seen so far was 121. I have done testing on 110 and 115 and a team kept falling apart. It wasn't consistent. It wasn't 100%. So that's something to kind of bear in mind. If you are struggling for uh, any HP, just take something like it's going to give you more HP and more defense as a tier 6 uh, blessing, especially if you're lucky enough to come across with to uh, finish with a four star blessing. For example, on mine, I have Life Harvest because I use it in Arena. I'm probably not going to change that too much because, again, it'll be quite useful and the term meter stuff won't really bother him uh, because we're not destroying uh, any enemy at max HP and we're not, they're not reviving. So I think we should be quite fine there. Uh, again, you could actually put some accuracy on this dude, but you'll need. Yeah, you'll need Brimstone level 5 because like 600 accuracy with these stats was just too too stat hungry, you know. Um, so again, we did want to miss out the Mastery Cycle of Magic and uh, Rapid Response. Be careful, Law of Steel, especially if you speed tune and make sure you do the Masteries first and uh, and then the build. We did take Tough Skin just to give a bit of edge additional uh, defense. And then we took things like uh, Blast Roof to... Uh, reduce the damage of the AoEs and mighty endurance and stuff like that just to try and help reduce how much damage we're taking on our trunk up because in the day I'm pretty sure the boss can go through in killable at a certain stage on the stacks and that's why the blessings are quite important anyway there is a team there is a run I'm really happy with this team uh, I can't wait to build it on my account when I actually find some time uh, maybe we'll do it over the next week or so uh and stuff like that if you guys are interested in any takeovers or anything like um a few people have like we did a takeover here go ahead jump in my discord to go check out my prices you can also earn it for free if you go ahead uh and go and support the twitch stream uh you can also earn them for free from channel points they're not too crazy to and not even hard to really earn for free so go and check that out. You can also ask me questions in live stream and stuff like that. It's going to be Grim Reaper TV Raid on Twitch. Uh, my link is also down in below in the description. You can go ahead and find it out. But if you're in my Discord group, it will literally tell you every term, every single day when I go live. I am alive from 9 p.m. GMT time up until 2 a.m. GMT time, uh, Monday to till Sunday. So pretty much every day. Anyway. I've been Green Reaper. Thank you for checking today's video out. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.